Hey guys, welcome to my Emacs showcase. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few things which I did in my Emacs recently to make it better. So I was doing some React development recently and I started to use Tree Max, uh, which is basically this tree on the left. It actually helps me a lot. Also, I started to use these, um, you know, tabs, uh, which, which is kind of like, it, it helps. It gives me the idea like what files I already have open because previously I, I was looking at my this thing like what buffers i have open and it was uh, very cluttered but this thing is really neat and i'll tell you like what this is and how i got this and stuff so i am i even have like indentation lines okay these lines which you see here uh, it really helps me it gives you some idea about indentation and i got inspired with vs code there are a lot of functionality which vs code had and i realized that i need this so right now, uh, this is basically some React development I was doing and it have like web mode. Let me just use TypeScript mode. So I like TypeScript mode in uh, app TSX. Okay. I also started this thing called tree sitter, which I love so much because tree sitter is basically, it's really hard to explain, but it's really fast. What it does it, it helps you with many things, not many things. It does something. Okay but it, it gives you a really nice syntax highlighting. That's why I'm using it. Also, it is helping me with code folding, okay? So let me show you like how, I'm not using it like all the time, but okay, so tree sitter, tree sitter, HL mode. So the color scheme is about to change, okay? If I run it, see the color scheme change. I don't know if you noticed or not, but uh, this color scheme actually is actually really better. Also, I'm using some new theme by the way. So this theme set EF, okay let me just show you so there are plenty of nice themes like this theme okay i really like oh i don't know why i showed you the light theme first okay so yeah i what else like there are plenty of themes for me here so all these themes look really good so i started to basically use some better color schemes and oh not yeah you can say color scheme and themes so what was that theme uh I, yeah this one i like so what else so i think this is really neat i i really like this okay let me show you my configuration oh, oh wait uh okay should i talk about tree sitter first oh i'm so confused i also started to use this format all um not format all yeah format all thing it it is really cool what it does it it basically in a vs code if you see you can select and just right click and format everything and it automatically format and this is something same so i can just type format all buffer and for okay i don't have format a set for typescript uh i have pretty year installed so if i press enter and now it's formatted but it was already formatted so you can't really see it okay so and yeah it's uh i i i think i am using project tile let me see project tile um run project okay npm run there so I created this really stupid app. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, Localhost, IDM, um, Astro. Okay, I don't know like the the port yet. Five thousand. Uh, this one. Okay, so it's nothing but you just type anything like a spawn and it will give you some post from Reddit. Okay, it's not working because I don't have course everywhere. Refresh or on. Uh, yeah, so it's basically going to fetch some images in dark mode. So it's a React app. Okay, so let me close this. So my React development is going great in Emacs right now. I am still not using LSV. I was using it before, but I thought. I don't know why I am not using LSV right now, but uh, because I was learning and at the time of learning, I don't like using LSV. So one more thing which I did is I am using org mode. So like I always use org mode. I created this what like um, let me close screen max. I created this uh, content consumption org file where uh, so I was watching one piece recently. So I made a nice to do list one piece and some tv shows i was watching breaking bad all right so and also i have like movies so there are some movies which i haven't watched so those things are to do's now 
and uh, I, I'm trying to organize things with org mode these days. So, so as you can see, like um, I haven't finished our episode one to hundred. So the second thing is in waiting right now. So it's a really good thing. If you don't know about these things, it's really awesome. Like I can run org agenda and see my agenda for the week. So tomorrow I have to watch this movie. I might reschedule it. Okay. So for example, if there is some movie which I want to write a schedule of, I can just do CS and then just give a schedule. So for example, I want to watch this movie uh, on 25. Or if I want to put a deadline so I can see D and then, you know, I can put some deadline uh, for, you know, 17. And now if I run org agenda, like just save the file and run org agenda and just A. So you can see that I have a deadline tomorrow of being pulled. And even if I, you know, just open my dashboard, I don't know if I can open dashboard. Okay, here. You can see even in my dashboard, it's there. So like, I just love, love Emacs to this feature. Okay. Let me just remove it. This is all text by the way. Emacs is like best note taking software, um, best productivity tool, like hands down the best. Okay. Let me just customize theme. Okay. Not this, that is. So is there any other theme which okay, winter? I don't know. So yeah, let me show you my uh, config now, which is why you are here. So in this configuration, let me show you. So this is the themes which I'm using, EF themes. All right, so this is like one of my favorite theme package right now. Other than that, uh, what else? Like other things, like I'm only going to tell you like what is new right now, okay? So what is new? <laughs> okay, so yes, send, send to our tab. This is what I'm using for these tabs here. And uh, what else? Yeah, this uh, mode line is mode line, which is really minimal and uh okay, tree max you already know yeah hide mode line in tree max yeah when i open tree max you know there is no mode line in the bottom which i really like so i use chat GPT to just write this function which is hide mode line in tree max and highlight indent indent line this is what i'm using for these indentation lines uh which you can see and form it all. This is this is a really nifty package which I'm using. So what this do is basically, it's um it can use any formatter. So if you are using Python, there is a formatter called black. If you are using um you know like anything JavaScript word, then you can use this formatter called prettier. And you have to install these formatter in your system. And this is basically you can use this package for running any formatter. So I really love this. I really like tree set. I'll talk about this. Okay. Uh, so project I already know so company yeah ts fold I haven't showed you ts fold so let me just quickly open app.tx uh, tmax so yeah so what uh, this thing do is let me set a key binding set global set key uh, okay, right. uh, what else like okay I have to bind this ts fold toggle so you know, I don't like using many features. Okay. But these features are there. Sometimes I activate it and use, sometimes I don't. Okay. So what I can do is with tree sitter. So I think tree sitter mode is already enabled. So uh, just one second here. So what I can do is here, I can just do this and this is using tree sitter. So tree sitter is actually, oh God, it's so hard to explain tree sitter. Let me just open Firefox and show you tree sitter. Oh, okay, there is this talk by this guy which you should listen. Tree sitter is like a really cool thing. And what it does, uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, there is this talk. Okay, this this video is really good. And talk. There is this talk, I think this one. Uh, no, no, not this one, sorry. This guy seems cool, but sorry, not this one. There was this all. One. So he will explain what tree sitter is. It's basically take all the source code and it, it support many programming language and it just, um, it just parse it. Like it give it, it allows you, okay, just figure out. Okay. It's something which you need. Okay. It can change your life. It can make things easy. And there are a lot of packages which you might use right now are, uh, it can make those packages useless. Okay. So, uh, this code folding seems really cool. And let me just get out of this space and it's not here. Um, uh, why these? Okay. 
yeah this org agenda so i have this directory org and i got a lot of org files and i'm using ts fold for so this is not in uh, melpa yeah i had to install it by git cloning it and stuff so uh, you can read about ts fold so this allows me to hold my source code in many languages so right now emacs is in perfect state and i wrote few projects and i i'm trying to use like or mode for everything right now it's just for you know consuming content but in future i might use it so i love emacs i mean csv i love using emacs okay i don't have uh okay so what else i think this is it i've got i don't have that dot there is some other projects I was working on. Should I show you? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Have you tried Music Fairy? The project I wrote. I mean, it's not, it's not a project. It's like 37 lines. Okay, so this uh, this was my Emacs video. And I actually want to make more and more Emacs video. This is nothing I know. Like, I'm just basically flexing my Emacs. I'm just trying to show you. But you know what? You can make your Emacs exactly like VS Code. You can get all the functionality it's super easy and you can I, I haven't even showed you lsp yet so lsp is basically auto completion everything uh, which is which is really neat i used to do this but i don't like clutter so i like to write you know plain things like simply but it doesn't matter I, I need this of course so i'll show you later okay thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video